Hey guys, it's Stingknight. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys the three biggest mistakes a lot of players make and should be avoided in FF14. So let's jump right in. So starting off with the first mistakes a lot of players make is buying NPC items from the market board. What I mean by that is if you go to the market board and for example, iron ore, for iron ore, it costs about 60 on my server on the market board. But if you look closely on the item description, it will say shop selling price at 18 gills each, meaning that I can buy this item for a lot cheaper. And all you gotta do is type iron ore in google iron ore ff14 and the first link will tell you which npc sells this item so in my case it would be in limsa lamonsa upper deck at the armorer slash blacksmith guild at the bottom here another example would be die which is also very common that people buy from the npc and directly sell it on the market you can see this costs about 40 gills each but people jack the price up to 220 in my server so you're kind of getting scammed but people are buying it so they're going to keep doing it um so this is something to be very mindful of another example example would be equipment so this happens a lot as well so for example you want to upgrade your gear to make sure you perform well in dungeons you don't die in this example this item costs about 4,500 gil from the market board itself but if you look closely once again at the shop selling price it costs about 820 gills so that is a quite a difference so you don't want to fall into the trap of buying every item from the market board itself you want to double check it if it is sold from the npc then you definitely want to buy it from the npc once again you just want to google search this item and type in the item name and the ff14 it should tell you where it is sold and you will save a bunch of money so on to the second mistakes that a lot of people make is they're not double checking the prices of an item before committing to a big purchase so especially if you're like leveling crafting you want to make a big purchase on a certain material you definitely want to check the prices of the item or if you want to buy a piece of gear one of the newest gear uh, for whatever reason you may have and you check the prices here on my server is about 90k for one item you want to click on the item and then hover here and then copy item name so this way you don't have to type it out and you basically want to head over to this website it's called the universalist dot app it is a website that everybody uses to check the prices of items and i just copy paste it down here and we can see that on cerberus the item is way cheaper at 63k gills each and we can even check the light server or i mean the light data center okay well it's more expensive at the light data center but in general just double check the prices before you buy an item because it could be a lot cheaper on the other servers or in the other data center that you can travel to especially for a big purchase you really want to do this otherwise you're going to be losing out a lot of money for over nothing so for the third mistakes a lot of people make is not reading slash needing all the dungeon loot slash trial loots because they are basically free company seals which are basically free items which are basically free money so you should be needing and greeting everything possible because uh, it's just free money and then you come over to your grand company to trade it in with the expert delivery you need to be at sergeant second class before you're able to exchange your loot for grand company seal i'll make sure to link the whole quest chain in the description down below on how you can rank up for all the grand companies so if you press c you open up your profile you'll see which city you need to be at so for me it's old doll so this is where i'm at once you do the things i mentioned you're sergeant second class you turn in your items for grand company seal and then you head over to the quartermaster to buy items and in general the best items well not the best but the items that are most cost efficient in terms of grand company seal per gill is the furnitures in general i cannot guarantee that they will sell quick but i can guarantee that they are the most cost efficient you can also buy a bunch of other materials here that you can sell on the market board though they're not worth as much usually so i would just do a little bit of research before you commit to buying a certain item and then selling on the market board uh, or you can just go the easy route you can buy glamour dispeller grammar prism they always sell or people always buy them but they may not be worth as much gill as some of the other items so that's it for this video guys if you found the video helpful make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more future ff14 content and if you have any more other tips or if you perhaps have more to add to the tips that I've mentioned, please comment down below. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.